Let me guess, you're a gamer, but you're not a gamer gamer, right? You don't want your PC to stand out too much, look too tryhardy or too edgy, and thankfully Gigabyte has just the motherboard for you with the brand new Gigabyte X670 Gaming X, a Gigabyte motherboard that moves away from the neon ways of the Euros for something more basic but still powerful, and for its relatively low price, it's one of the better X670 boards you can buy at that price range. Starting with CPU power, things are looking pretty great with 16 plus 2 plus 2 power power phases, with capacitors rated at up to 70 amps. In fact, that is the exact same configuration as the X670 Eros Elite, and again, 16 plus 2 plus 2 seems to be the magic number in this generation, seeing how they kept this exact same thing going all the way until the X670e Master, which is the second most expensive motherboard this generation. Add to that the fact that you get both full 8 pins for CPU power and you have one powerful motherboard for supplying even high-end Ryzen 7000 CPUs with enough power for plentiful overclocking. And that's not the only thing it has in common with the X670 Eros Elite. The PCE layout is also pretty much identical, for better or worse. Once again you have a 16x PCE Gen 4 slot as your main slot. Once again it's not PCE Gen 5, but then again, for whatever reason, Nvidia's new Greg cards aren't PCE Gen 5 either, so I guess, you know, those two issues cancel each other out, and below that you get two additional 16x slots. Once again you have no 1x slots to speak of, which again is a pretty big shame, because we can all agree we don't want to be that guy that puts a 1x card in a 16x slot. It just never looks good. And for M.2 you have four M.2 slots scattered around the board. But even that's not the only thing it has in common with the X670 Eros Elite. It also has the rear I.O. in common and it's, it's the same. Everything's the same. It's it's just the same motherboard, right? Right? Yeah, so Gigabyte basically just re-released the same motherboard. Twice. I mean, even just looking at the feature list, you can see that they are absolutely identical, apart from the PCB layering, which is the only difference between these two motherboards. And it's something that literally like 99% of people buying these boards are not even going to care about. And for the 1% that will care about the difference in PCB layers, well, they should probably get some new hobbies anyway. And while sure, visually, they do look distinctly different, with the Gigabyte being gamery but not too over the top, and with the Aeros one being more modern and, well, edgy. But literally everything else is exactly the same. The rear I.O., exactly the same. Absolutely ludicrous amounts of USB Type-A as usual with 12 USB Type-A. A ports, Wi-Fi 6E, HDMI only and no display port and of course once again the cursed free audio jacks and that's it. It's something that Gigabyte keeps on doing and something I will always complain about until they fix it. Anyway, despite that disappointment, overall it is still a very very good board and if you want to learn more about what it offers then just watch my X670 Aeros Elite video because once again they're just the exact same thing but rebranded. Still, despite all of the flaws, Gigabyte do know how to make a good budget gaming board, and this is no exception. Yes, some features are very annoying, like the lack of a 1x slot and the very, very limited audio options when it comes to the rear I.O., but apart from that, it's still a very good model for the money. And of course, if you're just in need of a lot of USB Type-A ports, then, I mean, Gigabyte is pretty much your only option. So if you want to buy this board or other X670 boards, then make sure to use our Amazon links down in the video description below. And hey, if you're still here and you want to support the channel, then the best way to do that is to support us on Patreon, which is going to be down in the video description below. And I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Justin Rage, Ellen Ronjak, Bartosz Velka, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Down here you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.